What is good everyone and in today's video we are going to be going over exactly how to create hooks exactly like this guy named Devin Jatho. He's pretty famous on Instagram and he's very famous to the editing space for his editing style. He has single handedly changed the game for video editors when it comes to short form content. I'm going to show you guys exactly how he makes his hooks in DaVinci Resolve right now. But if you guys are new here my name is Ryan. I help other editors get saucy in DaVinci Resolve. And if you guys want to speed up your workflow then go check out my products like pre-animate and the creator bundle in the first link in the description but without further ado we are going to get straight into this video all right so on his ig page here we're just going to take a look at like what his hooks kind of look like it is i can promise you that you're still missing this one thing let's just take a look at that hook. i don't give a shit how good you think your content is i can we're just going to try to create recreate something exactly like this all right, so I'm here in DaVinci Resolve and I actually have this video downloaded so that we can see a better look at this title. And so we're gonna try to recreate this exactly. So as you can see this title right here, it's about three seconds long. So I'm just gonna delete it because that's the only footage that we're going to be replicating today. So, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. So I have this footage of me in here um, of a previous YouTube video. I'm just gonna come over to Smart Reframe and reframe my, the subject, which in this case is me. So if we play this back, it's kind of just showing me right here and then that's that. So in order to create this similar caption style, it obviously zooms in first thing in the in the clip, right? So we're gonna go to our titles, we're gonna grab a text plus, and we're gonna place that above our clip right here. And what I'm gonna search for is probably railway. So with railway selected, I'm just gonna go to the thickest it could possibly be, so black italic. So we have this first text where it says guru's secret. So to make this look a lot better, we're going to add a few effects to it. But for now, we're literally just going to put this to the end of my clip and we're going to hold option and scroll up so that we can do to go viral as it is right here in all caps for him and then for this it looks like it's a complete different text so for this one i'm just going to simply go and grab font spring so that looks very similar to what his looks like and then the key to do this is put this one behind the first one so it kind of looks like this one's in front um, and then this one will have to be a little bit smaller like that so we're already looking good so i'm actually just going to deactivate my my video just so i can actually see get a good look at this so the first thing we're going to do in this first guru's secret we're going to go to the fusion page and what i'm going to do under template one is make sure my inspector tab is open and just hit shift space and search for a drop shadow i'm going to add this drop shadow in and turn it up just a bit and then turn the drop angle at about 14 and then just turn the drop distance as close as i can I'm going to turn that shadow strength up as much as I possibly can so I, you can really see that it is there. So now, you know, we're getting similar to his. He has this shadow. Now, obviously, the lighting is completely different, but if you look at this now, this is a lot cleaner and sleeker already. The thing about this is that this is almost already done. So what we're going to do on this guru secret to know that you're on the guru secret, you're just going to deactivate it and see which one goes away. So I'm just going to hold option and go up on this one. And we're just going to keep secret for this one. And we're just going to simply match this up exactly right where it is. And for this one, we're going to turn it to red. Now for this one, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to go on the fusion page and before the drop shadow, we're going to go to the template and search a shift space for a glow. Now we're gonna turn this glow up just a tad bit so that it's noticeable. So now when it does come in, it's going to look something like that, just like his, as you can see there. And I'm actually might gonna turn that glow down just a little bit, actually, not gonna lie. So we'll go to the glow and just turn it down just a tad, just like that. So now we're gonna get into the animation part of things. So we're gonna wait until about 20 seconds in, 20 to 25 seconds, and I'm gonna do 25 seconds. So on frame 25, we're gonna hit a keyframe, go two frames forward and turn it all the way up, go two frames, turn it all the way down. Then we're gonna go three frames and turn it all the way up. One frame, turn it all the way down, two frames, turn it all the way up. And then now if you look back, you have this glitch effect. Now, it doesn't look like much right now, but if you come in here, you can see what we're looking like. Boom, very similar to what his looks like, as you can see here. Now, last thing we have here for this certain textile that he has, since we're replicating it up straight off of his page, we're gonna grab this simple background removed picture of Alex Harmozy. So, as you can see, we're already looking pretty similar to his. We're just gonna turn this down and make sure that this is on fit. And we're just gonna zoom this in about right here. And we're just going to hit a rotation angle at about negative 15-ish. And then make sure he's off the screen by sizing it up a little bit, making sure he's on the screen just like that. Now we're just gonna simply do the animation 
of this process. So his animation just literally just kind of fades in, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do better than what he did. So we can go to my effects bin and grab some Magic Zoom. Now Magic Zoom is a free plugin, if you guys are new here, but anyways, zooms in just like that. And everything is looking very solid so far. Secret comes in just like how his does. So now we have this zoom in with Alex Harmozy, but it doesn't look as good as it could, right? So I'm gonna extend this Alex Harmozy part out just a tad bit. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna create a new compound clip just like that. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use my new plugin, Pre-Animate V2. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how this works. This has 25 preloaded animations. So all I'm gonna do is slap on fast up, up on this a page. And as you can see, Alex comes in just like that. And if we want to do something different, we can have up, come down, just straight up, up, up comes in just like that, pre-animated effects. Or if we want it to come in nice and fast for the right version, we have something like this, and it all auto goes in. And then the best part is, is it auto animates out for you as well. So it'll animate out just like that. Now, if we pair that up with my clip, we're just going to do that simply. And then next thing you know, it is going to all zoom out just like that. So guys, that is exactly how to create Devin Jatho styled caption hooks. And if you made it this far, then congratulations because I am going to be giving a lucky winner pre-animate V2. All you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe on this video and I will be choosing a random comment in this video down below. So if you comment, then you are entering in the giveaway and I will be personally reaching out to you. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you wanna check out pre-animate V2 yourself and just buy it, then go down in the first link in the description is a game changer. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video and peace out. No, I should die. You are for me. No, I don't know. No one can form the case. No, I should die.